There's something in the center of the earth that's magnetic. That's why compasses work on a flat earth. They only work on a level plane because they're drawn to the center. Something is magnetic in the center. That's how they work. It's the Alexander Gleason map of 1892. They come over here to 1569. This is the Mercator. This is uh, a projection. This is a blown up projection of the North Pole. Back then, they knew that there was a black magnetic rock sitting right in the center of the North Pole. They called it Rufus Nigra. These maps were not fictional. They didn't make this stuff up. They worked really hard on documenting this stuff. This is the Urbano Montes map, 1587. It's the same time, 1569, 1587. They worked hard on this stuff. This is the earliest accepted map of the world. Over here, 1892, Gleason, everything's frozen. We can't see anything. We, we can't see the four rivers that go to the center. Same thing here, he's got the four rivers, right? And then how do you get, how do you get a north center and a south exterior? Like if the earth was a ring magnet, Let's say, let, let, let's, let's follow those lines. Let's see what it looks like if it was a ring magnet. You know, what would that look like? Look what it does. That's ferrofluid on a ring magnet. Look at the center, look at, look at Rupus Nigra right in the middle of that. Look at the shape that this makes and look at the shape of the land masses on these maps. That's uh, that's just wild. That's just wild.